Okay. All righty. So we're here. Deb and I made it. EJ is MIA. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we can still say that. Who are we? We are the Sunshine Stitches. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm Deb. I'm Shelia. <laughs> EJ is just not feeling well today. She called me uh, a little while ago to say she was, yeah, you know, a little off. So um, Deb and I are pulling through. If you see weirdness in the editing this week, it's because Shelia is editing and Shelia is not <laughs> editing. So it will be a little rough, but it will be there. <laughs> So we got a really good episode. We have the winners from our first week of giveaways to announce. Mm -hmm. And we have the items for our second week of giveaways. Cool. Yeah. So how have you been since the last time we all saw you? We all. Well, I have, but we all. <laughs> um, I caught the plague for my son. Mm -hmm. And so... <clears throat> But I'm feeling much better. So I'm really hoping she didn't have what I had because it was not fun. Yeah. You but anyway. A lot better. Yeah. 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 So, um, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> It's been a really crummy three weeks, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There were a couple of times when you, you were um, the personification of misery. Oh, it was pretty bad. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. I don't think I've ever felt those joint aches and pains like this, mm -hmm. maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, so I'm anyway. glad you're feeling better. Much, much better. You could be yep. with me today. So mm -hmm. I have to do it all by myself. <laughs> you would have. Yes, you would have. <laughs> you would have for sure. So just so, just again, um, since I'm by myself today, my assistant may decide to <laughs> assist uh, because, um, yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> and I, I might be muting myself a couple of times because I still have a little bit of a cough. Okay. All right. So that'll be my, my, my story for a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Probably. So do you have any finishes this week? I do have a finish. I really do. I'm I'm real happy about it too, because I didn't expect this one. But this <laughs> one is um hands on design, stitch every day. Oh yes. And this is the one that has the Smyrna cross or the Smyrna stitches. Yeah. All all the way across. That is beautiful. Now you're supposed to make it into a drum. Is that a pretty big drum? Would that be a big drum? Well, I don't know. I mean, it says you're supposed to do a drum. Okay. Um, yeah, but uh, I don't know if I will. It mm -hmm. also shows it framed. It, now, would, it would be a good one to try to make a drum. It would be my first time. Yeah, yeah. Making a drum, but we'll see. I'm not sure what I'll do yet. Yeah, well, it's gorgeous. And what uh, fabric is it on? Do you know? This one is on 30 count Old Salem from uh, Primitive Hair. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Nice. That's that one. I mm -hmm. like that one. That border, that bottom border is just fantastic. Yeah, it was uh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Stitching it. The one thing I can say is uh, I didn't have to count. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, once yeah. you get started, you don't have to count. So you just, you know. And if you it's work mindless with... stitching, sort of, in a way. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, I was going to say if you weren't before, and I know you you were, you are an, an expert at Smyrna Cross. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. <laughs> well, I have a couple 
of fully finished items that I picked up Ooh. today. Oh, I got to see those. Yes. So this is the Evertote Modern Folk Embroidery Roxy Gloss oh. Christmas Box. Christmas oh, it's Christmas gorgeous. From 2023. Oh, I love it. I love it. There are 25 Roxy Gloss Co. colors in it. Wow, that many. Yes. Wow. It's a design by Jacob. The graph at Modern Folk Embroidery, and it mm. was sold through Evertote. Right. I can't wait to get the one from this year. Yeah, me too. Me too. All that'll, the that'll be fun. Mm -hmm. And this was so much fun. And the way they do it, um, every, so you can get a box, and each box has 25 uh, brown paper envelopes, so you can't see inside. Uh-huh. And and then uh oh one, there he is. <laughs> and then each one has a number. And um hold on, I'm trying to figure out where I can put this. So um, let's put it here. That should work. And uh every day for 25 days, you open up a number, you get a piece of the chart and a piece of floss. Okay. In the beginning, oh, yeah, I remember you getting them. Yeah. Yeah. And when does it start? Ooh. December 1st? So it can end December 25th? Something. Yeah, okay. December and you start getting them? I think they the he starts to ship in October, late October ish. Oh, okay. Okay. Ish. -ish. She's, she ships the international first because of uh -huh. the time and then she does the canadian uh second okay at least she did last year okay um so in the beginning when you have your piece of chart it's just the first couple of pieces of chart and your first couple of colors you're getting a color here and then a color down there and each color may have two two parts because it's it was a, you know, two sides identical. So oh. you had, it was crazy counting. In the beginning, until you started to fill it in and you had places to work off of. But it was, yeah, it was mad crazy counting in the beginning. And I know that was disconcerting to a lot of people. It was disconcerting to me. But you know what? You just have to bite the bullet, hunker down, and just be as careful as you can you know, in your county. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the second thing I picked up. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Ladies night. There they are. Oh, that's so cool. I love it. I love the way this looks. It's so great. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at it. It's so I love, I love her sweeping over the rest of yeah. them. That's great. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, my goodness gracious. And this is um, Ladies Night by, uh-oh, I can see it. Cricket Collection? Cricket Collection, yes. So it's adorable. So I love it. They will both go on the, on, on, the, on the wall this week. Is EJ still working on hers? Yes. Okay. She didn't give up? No. Okay. It's just in the works. Yeah. But her plan is to touch every whip at some point this year, so we should see it. Okay, good. Point. Yeah. Yeah. I'd, I'd like to see hers where, where <laughs> she's at. That's so cute. Did you have any starts this week? Well, I'm going to show you no, guys. This week, but since we last saw you? Yeah, not uh really but i'm going to show you this one cuz by the time i see you guys again it will definitely be started cuz i'm going to probably work on it a little this week oh okay. that is, it's a Jeanette Douglas okay i'm trying to get ready for the uh spring fling <clears throat> for the spring fling um where we're going to be stitching with Jeanette yeah and this is called uh, numero number no number numero sampler 
And that's oh. it. I love that. And it has um, the key and the buttons and all the stuff uh, that I bought at the time. Thank goodness. Because I yeah. never got to it. But now I am. And so um, I have all the called for threads. Mm -hmm. And um, I picked out a color and cotton um, uh, fabric. Mm -hmm. And um, the colors I'm using are here. So the color I'm using is called Requiem. Mm -hmm. And it's sort of a gray. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And those are the threads. Very pretty. And that's the call so, for? The call for threads, yeah. Yeah, very pretty. And they're mostly, it looks like, um, uh, general art. <clears throat> So yeah, that's what I'm going to start and very soon. I have like that chart. I don't remember if I hitted it or if I just bought the chart. Um, so I think I bought the chart last year when we were in Stitchville. Okay. Yeah, you were talking we were talking about it. You said you thought you got it back in their um markdown area. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe I'm not sure, but it mm. definitely it's it's back there. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to starting it. It's yeah. not big, so right. It seems like it'll be a fairly easy stitch. I'm hoping. <laughs> yeah, I don't, and I don't. My recollection is there are not a lot of specialty stitches in it. Yeah, there's some um, back stitching to do borders, but I think that's about it. Okay. And um, I don't think this is, I didn't say what count the fabric is. It's, uh, it is 36 count. Oh, okay. So um, what did they call for? Let's see. Let's see. They called for, they called for 32. Yeah. Yeah. So mine will be a little bit smaller than the, but that's fine. Oh, good. Oh, good. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to seeing you work on it. It will motivate yeah. me to pull mine out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I'm going to, I'm not going to list that as a start because it's more like a plan. So yeah, it's more like a plan, time. but I thought, yeah. you know, since I won't see them next week. Okay. I would show you your because whips. by the time I show oh. you again, it'll be maybe a almost whip. a full, full on whip. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, so, but speaking of whips, what have you been working on since we saw you? Well, um, so you didn't have any starts? No. No. Well, um, the first whip I have here. Um, you know, I'm doing the 24 for 24. Mm -hmm. Was uh, my Chatelaine. And <clears throat> this one, um, I started putting in the trees. Oh, look. Wow. Nice. And so, uh, and more of the borders. Mm -hmm. There's tons of borders. And all those blank spaces under the trees are all specialty stitches that have to be put in. Okay. <clears throat> um, that's what it's going to look like. Nice. And the kicker is I'm doing it on a 16 count Ada. So I'm doing all kinds of specialty stitches having to pierce the fabric. Wow. But as you can see, it's very soft. Yeah, that's a good thing. So it's not difficult. But I really wasn't using uh, any kind of um, even weave or linen at the time. So I just tackled it. All right. And um, <clears throat> so this is the Chatelaine Knot Garden. Knot Garden. Knot Garden. Yeah. It's so pretty. Yeah, I love this. These are gates and they have crows on them. Yeah. 
I love that part. I'm almost there. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the first one. Mm -hmm. And then the next one was, is, what is, I know. Was, I never know. I don't either. <laughs> um, <clears throat> is, uh, and this is actually what I'm working on now. It's, um, Butternut Road, Celtic Banner. Oh, and yes. That, that's it in two pieces. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so it has like regular sampler kind of deal. And it's sort of like, I think they uh, created a bell pull kind mm -hmm. of idea out of it. And they kind of shredded the bottom. Oh, cringe the bottom. Uh, yeah. yeah. And they did the same at the top. You can mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. Probably what I'll do, it's super long. Let me see how I can display it for you. I might have to stand up. Okay. So that's it. Mm -hmm. Wow. And then let's see if I can do this without causing a ruckus. So that's where I am now. Wow. I'm working on this part. Wow. You know, that and, other big square is almost like a chatelaine. And and I bet you that will be almost like a chatelaine when it's done too. Mm -hmm. Now this is done. Okay. That but part's you have those little squares there. The on tiny the ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're full coverage. So pretty. And so on here, you can see where I am as far as the actual finish. So I'm at the bottom. I'm right here. Yeah. And then there's this to go. Wow. And that bit in there with the letters, the northeast, west, is like the compass. Mm -hmm. That is going yeah. to feel like a, a, a breath of fresh air. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> For sure. That is magnificent, so, Deb. Yeah, that's, I, I am determined to finish. It was my first attempt at um, linen, mm -hmm. and it's Glen Shee Linen. It's 29 count. Okay, all right. And uh, people said it was a very nice linen because mm -hmm. it's a very much of an even weave, even mm -hmm. though it's not an, technically an even weave. Mm -hmm. It's very evenly, you know, the, the threads are very even. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> everyone said, oh, yeah, you can do it on that. You'll be fine. Well, <laughs> I wasn't fine because I couldn't get the idea of over two. Oh, that was and right, because it was your first. Yeah, it was my first. And so if the stitches weren't right next to each other, I couldn't count. Mm -hmm. like up and around <laughs> the counts so it, it wasn't so easy but it was fine it was fine <laughs> I worked I, I finally went to a beginner over two class and that kicked me off and I went back to it okay good good and the experience has been entirely different since then oh absolutely just flying <laughs> I mean really since I started it up again okay yeah. very good and do you know how long you've been working on it? Well, <clears throat> it came out in 2000. Okay. I don't think I got it very much after that. Maybe okay. 2003 or four. Okay. So, but I didn't pick it up again seriously until probably, I'm going to say between 2015 and 16. Okay. And then um, I started doing like mania and stuff like that. So it ended up kind of on the back burner for a long time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So in the last couple of years, I probably put in the most stitches. Most concentrated effort yeah. on it. Yeah. It's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely Thank you. Gorgeous. I do love it. <laughs> and that's it for me. Oh, okay. All right. Well... Let me pull the chair over, which I could have done. All right. Yeah. I picked up a piece. 
There you go. That works. <laughs> this is Needle Bling Designs, my stitching room. And I plan to put this up uh, in my, my salon, my stitching salon. And um, I got this at Stitchville when we visited last June. Uh huh. It's on the uh, it's uh, it's um, a gentle arts uh, thread, and I'm not sure what the fabric is. I, I didn't because I started it at the store. I didn't make a lot of notes. Okay. okay here's the fabric. It is um, honey glaze. Uh, Legacy Linen uh, 30 cal. Oh, pretty. Yeah. Did you get the linen there? Yes. Yeah. I fully kitted it. And so I'm using all the call form. Oh, cool. I did make one switch. The The words are charted in black. Uh -huh. but I changed mine to midnight because uh, I wanted blue. Gotcha. That was my only change. So, oh, I yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah. yeah, and I started for some reason. I started in the lower left corner, lower right corner. Lower know. right. Okay, I think a lot of people do that. They do. They do, and I, I, it's unusual for me to do that. Um, but I was moved to do it then. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I'm I, thinking of a, what's her name? Is it Nicole? Nicole's Needlework? Yes. She's mostly a sampler stitcher. Yeah. Um, she's been into, she hasn't been on for a while. She's been into uh, um, quilting lately. Mm -hmm. She also knits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think she always starts in that lower right, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is very different, I think, for mm -hmm. most people. And then comes up. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. Country Cottage Needleworks Afternoon in London. I'm working this one on 30 Count London Mist, which is a legacy linen. I'm using a DNC and Victoria model sampler threads. Mm. This time I worked on this tree here. I put in this vase and did the outline, a lot of the structure work for Big Ben. Nice. Yeah. I think I, if I ever repainted my house, I might like to do it with the gray and the red door. Yes. Isn't that, Isn't that pretty? Huh? It's so pretty. I like it. It really is very pretty. And I, I think that might, I'm not sure what that is. If it's um, uh, 10 Downing Street, I think 10 Downing Street has a red door. Gotcha. You know, I have a red door, but I have a stucco house. Mm -hmm. And so we, we kind of did it that Spanish gold sort of color with mm -hmm. the red door. But um, I like the gray. That's kind of cool. So this is one of my legacy pieces. I I bought the chart in 2005 at mm -hmm. a stitching uh, retreat. Not sure which one. It's the Stony Creek Sampler 2005. They used to come out with a sampler every year for the stitching retreat. Oh. Oh. Okay. Thank you. For <laughs> stitching retreats. <laughs> and um, this one I started and then like like yours and put it down for a very, very long time. And then I decided to pick it up and finish it that it deserved to be finished. Very pretty. Is your fabric that, that gray color? No, the fabric is <laughs> natural, natural linen. Mm. So it's okay. undyed. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. And so I purchased it so it came as a kit. Okay. Uh, and the threads are a variety of silks. Oh. 
yeah. it's gorgeous. It's really, really nice. Yeah, you um, got to finish that one. That one's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. So, but, is there a lot of back stitching in it? Yes, there. There. So the vine is pulled together by some, you know, uh, straight stitches. Uh -huh. um, the heart is back stitched out. The heart. The heart wasn't a perfectly sculpted part to begin with. But somehow I wound up missing two stitches coming across here. Like this is supposed to be wider apart. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. <clears throat> trying to chew on my clips. Um and and so I had to force fit my heart in there. But there's a pin that will go in there, a heart, big heart pin. So I decided it didn't really matter. No. So I did the fine. heart. I I had started this. I finished all of this up here. Uh did down here the heart and uh did the outline on each side of the heart are two. Here's the picture. Are you lying on the picture? Okay, my assistant is lying on the picture, so I can't get to the picture. But uh, there are at least two boxes and maybe three that will be filled with specialty stitches. Oh, wow. And then underneath are, is an, a row of alphabets. And, I, and then the very last row is a row of hearts. That's one great big specialty stitch in the shape of a heart. Oh, wow. So mm. I'm going to do all the other stitching, but the specialty stitches and do all of them last. So I'm going to do the outlines for all of the, the blocks on both sides, come down, do the alphabets, and then go back up and do all the specialty stitches. So did you start it at the retreat? <clears throat> I So I went to the class at the retreat, and uh -huh. we were taught the some of the specialty stitches. Okay. The doodle cloth. Mm. Okay. So, yeah, and I think I still have the doodle cloth. Um because <laughs> I tried to write underneath each one what it was. Uh -huh. Not that I can recognize it now. <sighs> um, so yeah. Oh wait, okay, thank you. Yes, yeah, so there's three boxes of specialty stitches on each side. Oh, yeah. Heart. And see what I'm saying? Like, you can't see really because this thingy is going to go in there. Yeah. So I've got this row, I think, which is mainly cross-stitch, uh, these letters here, and then these parts down there. Look at those. That's going to be fun. Amazing. Wow. Very pretty. But it's yes. got seeds and all kinds of things going on. So it's just one of those that I pick up periodically. I work on it, make progress, put it down. I'll be very happy the day it's done, but it's not anything that I'm, you know, when it's done, it's done. Right. Here's another one that falls into that category. This is really <laughs> a gift. <laughs> Uh, this is Dimensions Gold Collection. This is on my whip go this month. Or mm -hmm. Rory Cabin. And I've been working on this one for a long time. Long time. Yes, you have. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, it was a kit. And it's on a light blue Ada. Oh, it's looking so great. It, yeah, I was watching someone's whip parade yesterday and uh -huh. she showed some of her finishes uh -huh. and she had finished this oh. Was, oh. <laughs> she so that was real motivation there it was it looks so good it looks it was motivational because i said you know it can be done it can be done i'm working on this tree here and this tree here. I think this time I spent a lot of time on this tree and this one. I brought this one down to the bottom. 
Yeah, you did a lot on that one. I did. I did. It was a little <laughs> tough getting started. Um, but once I figured out where I was, I was able to do a lot. I had one color. I picked a great color and, and just just was able to fill in a lot with that one mm -hmm. color. So yeah. the street. And it really is pretty. Yeah, they they really do have the detail, those they dimension do. kits. They yeah. do. And when I saw her finished, um, the one that, that she finished, I wish I could remember who it was. I was so enthralled. <laughs> it was yeah, I don't blame you. So pretty. So Gorgeous. Pretty. I also picked up, okay. My, uh, oh, no. Okay, that's why I'm having trouble. I think two at the same time. I am work. This is a focus piece for me right now, Serenity by the Primitive mm -hmm. Pair, because it's a it will be a gift. So I'm trying to uh, get it done uh, as soon as I can. Oh so, wow! Yeah, You've done so, a lot. Yeah, wow. so down here at the bottom, you've got this kind of thingy with the wording on it serenity yeah kind of like a cartouche a little bit yes but not, not quite but sort of that idea exactly it says serenity the absence of stress while drinking tea <laughs> yeah <laughs> so and this is on i'm using the call for threads which is a combination of dmc and overdyes and some phrenic this is on a 32 count lakeside linen and vintage pair. And I started it uh, 12, 31, 23. So this was a, a fairly new start. Yeah. And so this time I focused on that bottom cartouche like mm -hmm. they almost got it done. And the reason it looks odd is because this is 48 stitches across. And I, you know, just going back and forth and back. And right. Forth. I so, couldn't. how do the words appear? Are they? They're uh, back stitched on. Oh, they're just okay. Yeah, okay. they're just back stitched on top. Mm -hmm. um, the, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which is nice. And I have back stitching in the leaves here and here. And then there's back stitching in the, in those leaves. No. There's back stitching with the branches here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So once I get this done, it's just a lot of back stitching. Mm -hmm. And that will be good. And then you're and then you're done. And then I'm done. Yes. Yeah. So I will be very, very pleased about that. Okay, my assistant says taken up residence. I laid a project bag down and he moved in, but at least he's sitting there. <laughs> right. I always think, think of him as your taster as well. Well, that's the other thing. I do have a cup of coffee, but... Because, you know, he wants to make sure that you're safe. Yeah. So he checks it that's, out first. That's right. That the milk is good. <laughs> uh-huh. This time, oh, I'm sorry. So this is Autumn Quakers Rosewood Manor. This look, is, I know. <laughs> this, ah, uh, this is a 36 count. Hold on, I didn't take out the. This is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. I look at mine every day. <laughs> <laughs> it's right by my front door. Yes, it is. And it, every time I see it, it looks so good. Yeah, it was it was so much fun to stitch. Yeah. Uh this and I'm enjoying it. I am enjoying yeah. it. 36 count colonial parchment by fabric by Stephanie. And uh -huh. I'm using a Victorian model sampler conversion. Mm -hmm. and, and really it's turning out to, so great. Yes, and I really tried to match the um, colors to the colors that were you mm -hmm. know, just designed with. 
and I'm working at the bottom. So I finished this uh, leaf, I guess, and started on the basket. This is a basket of flowers. This is actually some of the blooms uh -huh. uh, in the basket. So I started, that was fun. I enjoyed that tremendously. Mm -hmm. um, still got some work to do on it, uh, but this was a lot of fun too because yes there are color changes but there weren't as many right yeah so it's it's it's, it's nice and i'm almost this, this whatever is in here i believe that will be a page finish oh good yeah yeah That that's okay. See, if you weren't sitting there, I could. I don't have to reach over you. <laughs> but what would be the fun of that? I know, I know. Let's not make this easier for Shelia. No, 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 no. <laughs> as many ways as possible. <laughs> All right, my last whip is um, a pair of stitches. And uh, this is by the drawn thread. Oh, okay. The full picture, I always forget to pick out the full picture. This I'm I'm working on the called for fabric and I'm using all the called for silks and it's a combination of NPIs, oh, swab. oh. yeah, it's a whole combination of stuff. A couple of one hundred threes. So silks, yeah. So this is the whole thing, and so there's multiple charts. Each the. Uh, most of the charts have three letters. So I finished A, B, C, and I'm now working on D, E, F. And it, it, the way it's, it's been, so every letter has a specialty thread associated mm. with it. A okay. Stitch. <clears throat> so as I said, I'm working on D, E, F. And... So this is the corner here that I'm working in. This is called the uh, double cross eyelet, which is a, a series of straight stitches. Have you ever done that one before? No, that was new. Yeah, I've never heard of it. Yeah, that was fun. This one was hard to start because the start was critical because it's the first one in this box. Uh -huh. And it, it you will see it falls next to the ABC and in the distance, mm. the um, distance between each block of letters is four fabric threads. Okay. But you start this stitch in like mm -hmm. a bunch of threads. Right. So not only did I have to take into consideration the distance between the ABC and the DEF, I had to count over fabric threads to the actual start of this stitch. Oh, so you had to really count, get it right. I really had to count. I must have counted 10 times. And then I started. And when I got um, over to a certain point, I was still off by a thread. So I had to take it out. This started over. I was like, after all of that counting, I was still wrong. Oh no, but yeah. not no, and blah, you know. Aww. And then I started, you'll see it. I've started this stitch here. What's that one? That is called the Damask, Damask Darning, D A M A S K. Darn Never heard of that one either. No. Yeah. Now you said it's the called for fabric. So what is it? 
the cost for fabric is 30 cal custard cream dower quality legacy linen. Wow. I I kitted this up a bunch of years ago. Years ago. Stitch cupboard. I don't know if you can still get this fabric or or yeah. what, but um so <laughs> here oh. I go. So that's that. That's yeah. That and that's the stone. <laughs> Beautiful. Of, yeah. Look at those stitches. Wow. Yeah. So that's cool. It is cool. And it's a lot of fun. Um yeah. It's it's I'm enjoying it a lot. I mean, even mm -hmm. with the challenges of counting, um they're healthy challenges. They're cross stitch challenges. I mean, yeah. Count for sure. cross -stitch. I mean, they're I don't and I guess that's why I like specialty stitches. I don't want it always to be easy. I want no. it to be challenged. Yeah. Yeah. And it really moves more into embroidery almost. Yeah. Yeah. To to an extent, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Do you have any acquisitions? Well, I do. <clears throat> and um, they're stitch adjacent. Um. I bought a couple of bags from Creative Country Girl, mm -hmm. and her her name is Tammy Blaylock, and it's TammyBlaylock.com. Okay. Is it um, B-A-M-M-Y? Yes. B-L-A-L-O-C-K, I believe. Okay. Dot com. She makes all kinds of different um, accessories for stitching, and these are bags. Okay. <clears throat> and I, you'll see in a minute why I like them. That they're is big. They're big, but they're long. They're mm -hmm. like vertically large, mm -hmm. and I kind of like that whole idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and they're very well padded, so you don't get anything um, bent or creased or anything like that. Mm -hmm. She also adds one of these. Oh, nice. And it comes in the plastic. Yeah. So I love I love that idea. Mm -hmm. This fabric I have in different sized bags. So I had a smaller one that I could put in here for, you know, threads and stuff. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of cool. And on the inside is just this sort of um, neutral. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. But anyway, so that's one. And then I got one more because my, my house is yellow now, mm -hmm. but it's not this style. But I did, our first house looked just like this with this kind of porch. Oh, wow. And okay. so I couldn't, I could not um, resist. And the funny thing is when we bought the house, uh -huh. we painted it. I have a yellow house now, but we painted it white with black. Um, windows mm -hmm. but the funny thing is when we bought it it was this pink color oh my goodness <laughs> <laughs> so i couldn't resist it was great no 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 and then <laughs> the back oh very a, nice just adorable yeah and, and again she put one of these kind of um tags on mm -hmm. and the inside is again just a neutral. It's a polka. Very it's nice. a polka like Stephanie. Hook on the inside too. Pardon? You should put the little hook. Yes. Yeah. Another thing to love, right? Yeah. You can hook on your thread drops mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to it. So yeah, I mean, very well made. Came right away. Okay. Um, her communication was great. So I recommend to anyone who's interested. Mm -hmm. Okay. to look up Tammy. And well, it's TammyBlaylock.com, but we'll also <laughs> have it in the description below. Oh, great. And that's it for me. I, I haven't been, I haven't been uh, buying too much because um, I will be going to um, a few 
shops mm -hmm. this summer. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I don't want to, I, I, I'm sick. Just say I'm saving my stitching buying for that. I totally understand. <laughs> uh, I sat the other day and tried to count up the number of stores I was yeah. with by the end of the year. Yeah. I think it was six. And I'll probably be doing about half of that. But yeah. they're all major places to exactly. just drop yeah. a lot of dough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that's why I'm, sa I'm saving my um my stitching, the stitching budget. Uh, purchases yeah. for them. Yeah. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah, yeah. Um so I have no acquisitions either. <laughs> oh, <Okay. laughs> Yeah, I didn't even, uh, I didn't, I have nothing from uh, market. Yeah, yeah. Not yet. Well, I have a market order that still has not come in. So I'm okay. fine with that. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm fine with that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what about your plans? So um, I'm still doing my 24 whips mm -hmm. for 24. Mm -hmm. And so that means each month I have two whips. Mm -hmm. And I, I, what I did is I went through all my whips, which is about double that 24, mm -hmm. not quite, but almost. And I looked at the ones that were almost finished mm -hmm. or closer to a finish than others. Mm -hmm. So um, this, uh, this um, month, it was that Celtic banner for mm -hmm. the first part of the month. Mm -hmm. For the second part of this month, it's Turkish Delight. Oh, nice. Rosewood, yeah, Rosewood yeah. Man. I haven't gotten much at all done on this. But again, like I said, as I got closer into the year, they got less and less mm -hmm. on them that are done. Mm -hmm. But anyway, this is it. Um, mine is on 36 count Briar Rose, hand dyed by Stephanie, called for uh, threads. And that's all I've got. Yes, beautiful. I work. I'm. I don't think I'm that much different than. Really? Oh, I thought you were a lot further ahead than me. No, so I. I might be going across. That might be the only difference. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 yeah I've been going obviously down. down. Yeah. I don't. That's all I've got. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. And then, um, <clears throat> for the first one in. May, yeah, May. It's Oh Joyous Day by oh. Blackbird mm -hmm. Designs. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> again, not a whole lot done. Um, I'm, I'm working on 36 count cottage stone by color and cotton. And that's all I've got. And there's a lot of uh kind of specialty stitches. There's that satin stitch for the row mm -hmm. around that row of flowers and fruit and birds. But that's all I've got. Okay. So I'm really looking forward to putting some time into this one. Yeah. So what I've been doing is splitting the month. You know, I'll, I'll start on the first and around the 15th or so. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, the rest of the month for the second one in the month unless i get real close to a finish like i have for some yeah and then if it goes into the next month a little bit that's fine yeah yeah i mean it's you know there's nothing hard and fast you don't pay a fine no. you don't Re really the goal was to get some finished exactly exactly and so i think i've got about four finished for this year already mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is amazing for me because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I I skip around so much I don't finish anything exactly, exactly. and that's what this year is about so yeah. I really love the concept yeah thank you Pam <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay so my plans for this week uh, today I'm going to go back to another old I've uh, never more Nevermore is, I can't remember who the designer is, but Nevermore, that's a Halloween piece. 
I'm going to yeah. around. Oh, so let me backtrack a little bit. So I was supposed to work on in no um another piece this past week. But when I uh -huh. opened up the project bag, I didn't have the floss. So I've got a floss ring of silk sitting somewhere that I have to find. Okay. And so that's when I picked up Serenity. Since it's a focus piece, I decided not to make myself crazy. Um, uh -huh. So I just picked, that's how I got so much more work on Serenity uh, accomplished this past week. Um, and I'm going to work on Around My Friends, which was a major WIPCO project last year. It has three pieces, hands-on design, summer house stitch works, and ink circles. Uh -huh. I'm on the last of the three pieces, so uh, that's tomorrow. Monday, I have a new start. Ooh. And this is, yes, this is vintage bordering on antique. <laughs> I bought this in the 90s, uh, <laughs> one of the Spirit of Cross Stitch Festivals. It's a kit. Uh, the designer is Liz Turner Deal, and she has a whole series of gardens uh, with uh, <clears throat> specialty stitches, but they're beautiful gardens. I'm picking up the Medieval Herb Garden mm -hmm. uh, to start. I'm coming back to Autumn Quakers, which is, will be the last day for that Whipgo piece. Seaside Sampler, which is Rosewood. Yay! Yeah, that's another. And I'm, I'm not going to do all of it because I'm not doing the saying at the bottom. I still need to decide how I'm going to handle the bottom. But I'm, I'm up in the upper corner with the big um, manta ray circle stingray circle yes sort of coming down so right. that was the, that those those manta rays whatever they're called they were they were not easy yeah yeah they, something about them and we i think we talked about mm -hmm. i thought some of the threads were thicker mm -hmm. than other threads mm -hmm. and so it made it really hard to get them mm -hmm. to look for me anyway, to get them to look smooth. Yeah. And not I don't it was it was strange. I really think one of those threads was somehow thick. real thick. Yeah. Did you find that? I have yes, yes. The lighter colored threads appear thinner. Yeah. Um, some of the other motifs I Actually, I'm doing mine on a 36 count, so I'm usually using one thread, and there's silk, so one strand yeah. of silk is usually fine. But yeah, I found some of those earlier motifs, the one strand just and there's a light color on yeah. white, and it just yeah, I had a couple of them that I actually went back over with a second, really. Strand. Yeah, okay, huh. Um, <laughs> I'm going to finish up also this week. Is this the last? Yeah, I'm finishing also this week my last would go day for Aurora Cabin. Oh, and I, I looked up Nevermore. It's uh, Leela's studio. Oh, yes. Thank you. Leela's studio. I, I, you know, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> um, Autumn Garden uh, to finish up the week. That's another fun one. That I'm I'm enjoying a lot. So, yeah, yeah. So so that, it sounds like we're busy. we're both going to be busy. Pardon me. It sounds like we're both going to be busy. Yeah, we'll stay busy, yes. stay out of trouble. Yes, yes, yes. And next week is not a busy week for me in terms of things out of the house. This past week, I had something most days of the week, so it. And I realized it really cut in on my stitching time. Yeah, I, I hate that. So I can stitch. Yeah. Okay, so let's get into announcements. Um, we've got a couple of things going on. So first, first announcement: It's still not too late to join. Bake me a, hashtag Bake me a Quaker Sal that DJ is 
running uh, that is using the uh, Rosewood Manor um, Quaker dozen, dozen Quakers, dozen Quakers, Quaker dozen. Um, I think it's something like that. One dozen Quakers. One dozen Quakers. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so join in. Hashtag bake me a Quaker Sal. She has mm -hmm. taken that chart and divided it into 12 sections to make it easier to manage uh, and each section by month. Uh, the plan is, and it started this past December. So the plan is that by the end of November, you will have had an opportunity to stitch each of those 12 sections. However, if if you, uh, and we know, whatever, if, if you have not kept up with each month's section and you still have some left, then you have the month of December, the 13th month, Baker's Dozen to finish it. And so by the end of December, 2024, you will have completed a Rosewood Manor. Cool. Which is huge in our world because neither of us has completed a Rosewood Manor. And I've been working on like autumn Quakers, I've been working on forever, like three years. Yeah. <laughs> Seaside Sampler, years. Yep. All of them. I finished one. Nope, that's a lie. I finished two. Two. You did your tulips? Yes, I did the tulips and, and I did autumn the Quaker. autumn Quaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got like six or seven in progress. Yeah. I <laughs> love the charts. Love the charts. Me too. Keep buying them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The second uh, quickie announcement is uh, uh, the uh, 2025 Plus 2 Bit C. Uh, mm -hmm. If you have any interest, go over to stitchersescapes.com and uh, check out the itinerary. It's leaving out of Fort Lauderdale on the Celebrity Apex, January 25th through February 1st. And um, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. So it's hosted by Jean Farish and we'll have um, uh, Bindi Stitchy. Michelle Bindi Stitchy and EJ and I Sunshine Stitchy as the hosts. So come along. <laughs> <laughs> and our third announcement. Okay, so we're running this little giveaway. <laughs> little, little, yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh my God! It's it's the giveaway for the ages for sure. Yes. <laughs> So we started uh, last week, we, we announced five uh, packages of charts, well, four packages of charts and a package of ADA. Oh, and, right. That's right. Yeah. And um, so we, uh, EJ was so kind on her sick bed <laughs> <laughs> to identify the winners of last week's packets. Oh, good. Now you will have until, well, we're, we're not gonna do a lot of back and forth this time because we've got too many to give and it's over the course of time. So yes. again, um, you, you will please listen for your name. Um, at the end of all of the giveaway, we will call out again, all on uh, charts that have not been given for packets that have not been sent out because and and so you guys will find their um comment and you'll comment on that yes i will find your comment i will comment to please contact us at sunshine stitchers3 at gmail.com and at and so please send us an email with your uh, mailing information, like your, your government name, address. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully maybe a little something that helps us know that it's you. Yeah. I, I realize we don't know, you know, know you, but a little something um, just to avoid any um, challenges or problems. Yeah. Because we don't have any, um, I had one, uh, screw up last time, but I actually had some 
flexibility from my stash to make it up, but we don't have that this time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first winner from last week, the winner of the dragons, we oh. had 61 comments, is a uh, teeny weeny stitches. <laughs> teeny weeny stitches. You have the dragon packet. The second winner of the um, long dog, uh, the, the packet that had the long dog charts, there was 150 comments. Oh, so good. Suzanne Williams, that's S-U-Z-A-N-N-E-W-I-L-L-I-A-M-S, 6347. Mm. Third winner, the packet that had the shepherd's bush charts, Oh, that's the one I liked. Yeah, yeah. that's a good yeah. one. Uh, that had 128 comments. Okay. The winner is Susan Barnes, 1385. That's Susan Barnes, 1385. Okay. The so the Susans and Suzannes are winning. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the, the winner of the uh, package of Ada. Mm -hmm. fabric. We had 107 comments. Is hey, great. Beth Stevens 344. Beth Stevens 344. The winner of the fifth packet from last week of the um that had the hands-on design banner charts in it. Okay. 59 yep. comments is Rita Lopez, 8748. Rita Lopez, 8748. Congratulations, everybody. So <laughs> we will be leaving a comment on your comment to please email us at sunshinestitchers3 at gmail.com. And when um, we get your email, I usually respond. It's usually me, even though it says EJ, but it would be me. <laughs> and um, I just thought I should change that to EJ, Shelia, and Deb. I'm going to change that signature so it's the three of us. Okay. It's been a long time coming. I just realized that. Not that. <laughs> but it's me responding. So, um, yeah. And I will get those in the post office this week. So my friends at the post office will see me again. So <laughs> this, this group of charts have been spoken for and, oh, C, she didn't do C. Oh, she left one out, C, shoot. We'll have to call C. That was the packet of, um, Hands Across the Sea, I apologize, everybody. The Hands Across the Sea packet, EJ didn't pull the winner. And um, I'm not going to do it now. No. Um, mm -mm. So you'll you'll call okay, it next we'll time? Next, next week. I apologize. Um, yeah. Okay. Are you going to give other people a chance or no? You no, closed it? Nope, nope, nope. That's, we'll go back to the same video. Uh, episode 273, we'll look at the comments and we'll make that. Uh, Got it. Yeah. Got it. I apologize. Okay, so this goes over here. All right, we have a new set of packets to give away this week. Okay. So, the first packet has uh, the keyword of house. That's a good one. Yes. It includes uh, a Leela Studio, a Quaker's Welcome. See, houses. It's cute. <laughs> uh, there's a dimensions chart. It's not the kit. Oh, 
it's an old chart, but that's sitting on a porch. That's a beautiful picture. I love that. Mm -hmm. There is a tiny town, patriotic tiny town by oh, Hart and Pam. Um, huh? That's awesome. There's some people who are doing <clears throat> the tiny towns and they're putting them together. Yes, I've seen that. It's really nice. So there's if you're trying to get them together, there's one of these um, strips, a couple of them. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, there's several. There's the Christmas tiny town. Nice. The Halloween tiny town. Oh, um, you got to clean up on the tiny towns. Mooney tiny town. <laughs> Cute. And although I don't know why, I guess I just talked to Mooney. This is Moldy from For My Boys, um, American Pride Never Melts. Mm. I had some real vintage charts that I just sort of added to packets. Uh -huh. So this one really is a tiny town. Um, I probably should have made it a different keyword, but the keyword for this is house. But it's the packet that has a lot of tiny towns and uh, a Quaker welcome. Okay, house, the key word is house. And I had a rubber band, there it is. I have to try to keep everything together because- Oh yeah, otherwise nightmare time. Nightmare, <laughs> total nightmare, okay. The second packet is an assortment of mostly smalls, I think. The key word here is lace, L-A-C-E, lace. Mm -hmm. There is um, raise the roof. <laughs> Couleur d'étoile. Oh, so pretty. I love yeah. that. What do they call that? Is it petty point? Petty point, yeah. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Perfect, right? Uh, waxing moon designs. It's, oh. it's just this here. Yeah. <laughs> no. yeah. <laughs> and it's called Autumn Nap. Look at that. Very cute. <clears throat> Lizzie Kate, Coffee Crazy. Cute. Good for the coffee drinkers. Yeah. Two uh, lavender and lace. One is the spirit of Christmas. Oh, wow. Uh huh. And the other one is morning song. Wow, pretty. Those are almost full coverage. Yes. Especially that one. Uh, and a Britter Cup Designs Friendly Stitchers. <laughs> a Dirty Ann Annie Winter Reindeer. Oh, cute. Yeah, that's a nice kind of assortment. And the key yeah, is for sure. lace, and that's because of the lavender and lace that's in there. Oh, gotcha. The key word is lace, L-A-C-E, lace. Okay. And those all fit nicely in the, in the bag. Oh, that, that, that works out well. When that yeah. happens, that's good. That's right. The third packet is a packet of patriotic charts. The key word for this group is blue. Mm. Uh, Rose, oh, my little cheat sheet there. Okay. Rosewood Manor, July 4th. I don't think I've ever seen that Rosewood yeah, Manor. Yeah, I know. I, I this is, Yeah. Look Very different. Book. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> Blackbird Designs, Souvenirs of Summer. Oh, that's a good one. 
Yeah, that's a great one. This is, oh, I've got a couple of them. A uh, Bent Creek. Okay. Uh, Stars and Stripes. Oh, nice. And this is, hold on, oh. Grumpy old men celebrate. <laughs> or ETM. <laughs> and the last one in here is America by Elizabeth Needlework Designs, America. Hmm. So, That's a nice package. Yes, if you like patriotic. Stitching Patriotic for those of you who are doing patriotic walls or mm -hmm. patriotic themed rooms. Uh, yep. This is a nice pack. It's got quite a variety. And the key word for this is blue. Mm -hmm. Blue. Blue. Drank some coffee, curled up, and went to sleep. <laughs> after after knowing me while yeah. I was trying to drink, I gave up. I gave him the cup. <laughs> I was like, uh. <laughs> so for those oh, of you so who don't funny. know, Joe Robinette, I froth my milk for my coffee. And when I'm done with the cup, I, you know, when he was a real kitten, I used to just set the cup down, you know, they had those dregs of the milk broth. And I realized one day this little head was bobbing up and down <laughs> in my coffee cup. And since then, he's like addicted to my milk foam. And when I'm sitting drinking coffee, it becomes a major um, battle for me to actually finish a cup because he will literally try to get his head inside the cup while I'm drinking it. Yeah, it's it's who gets to take the first sip. <laughs> yes, yes. I can't leave the cup at all. Oh. Like the cup can't sit. Mm -hmm. uh, the next group is Flip, F-L-I-P. Mm -hmm. That's because it is a full set of Lizzie Cake double flips and some other uh ones um those are really good for if you need smalls yeah yeah because you so can separate them out yeah i think it's all of them um encourage laugh believe care listen learn Oh, I guess that one was like this. <laughs> that one was like this. There we go. Uh, dream, love, remember, give, create, create, live, create. Remember, give, dream, love. Oh, okay. Create, live. And then there is Let Freedom Ring, and this has some mm. little thingies. Yep. And uh, a November, December from one of the years. Okay. So that keyword is flip, and that is a set of eight. And I do believe that is that entire series. Yes. That's the entire series of, of mm -hmm. which yeah. you could also put together. Yes. You don't want to separate them. That's right. That's right. So that's a lot of a lot of <laughs> parts there. Flip. Mm -hmm. Yep. And we have a packet of linen and I do see 
I guess this is an Ada in there. It's mixed. It's a mixed pack. But the key word is linen. And so just to give you an idea of what's in here, they're not big pieces, um, but they're enough for uh, small yeah. ornaments. Yeah, they're and they're nice neutrals, right? I have no idea. This is a nice pretty piece. Yeah, I have no idea of the size. So if size matters to you, mm -hmm. uh, and these are these, these several all the same color. They must have been purchased for something, maybe because there's a bunch of them. There's a bunch of pieces. So I wonder. I wonder if this is the same person who gave me the flippets. Maybe these were bought for flippets to do individually because they're. Several one, two, three, four, five. Possible. Six. Yeah. Yeah, possibly. Um, and yeah, so there's several pieces of <laughs> linen. Again, I have no idea the size. Look like they, I'm not even going to guess. I don't even want right. to go there. If we have some like, pairs that can count. <laughs> yes. So if you have a series of something, or you know you're going to do ornaments, or mm -hmm. um, yeah, pin, maybe per pin yeah. cushions, perfect size mm -hmm. pieces of fabric. So those yeah. are the five packages mm -hmm. for today. Those keywords again are linen, flip. Blue, lace, house. Good. <laughs> and, and you're going to pick. And, and we will announce the winner of C from last week. Next right. week. Yeah. I know that's going to be real confusing for everybody, but, you know. Yeah. Hey. But, well. We we don't claim to be perfectionists. They'll have to forgive us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 what it is. Hold on to their anticipation. Somebody's <laughs> gotta get it, so don't worry yeah. about it. Right. <laughs> and it will come from that group of responses. So right. Right. don't don't worry. Don't worry, you're still in it. All righty. Um I think we've said it all. I think we have. <laughs> it feels like it. It does. It does. <laughs> All righty. So, so, no matter where you are, where you are the, the sun, sun is always, always shining, shining when, when you're, you're stitching. Bye. Bye.